Hey, good morning, everyone. It's close to 1030, which is when I said I was going live. Ah, it's another beautiful day in Florida. Breezy, dry weather. It's awesome. I'm going to give it a few minutes to see if we get some conversation going on here today. This is Betsy Schwartz with Birth in the Know, and I'm on a 14-day challenge to myself to speak up about what's on my heart and in my mind about birth, always in the form of a question. I love to ask the questions. Yes, I do. I have a question for you today. Hey, hello, if you're hopping on, thanks for, thanks for joining me on this well, beautiful morning here in Florida in my outdoor office. I have so much to say about birth and the crisis that we're in and the one out of three women undergoing cesarean. And I feel that it's education that is the key. The educated consumer is where it's at. Women get to rise up, take a stand, say no and know what there is to know about birth. There, there's a lot going on when you get in, into the whole field of childbirth and whether you're pregnant or you're learning about it as a, as a doula. There's a lot to know. And there's, there's myths, that, you know, there's facts, there's fiction, there's good data and not so great data. So the thing is that when you know more, well, the, the goal is when you know more, you do better. You know, you, you make other choices, let's say. Not better, but different choices. Being informed is power. Knowledge is power. My question of the day, yes, I have it in the post. What is Vernix Cassiosa? You say, hey, oh, Nita, one of my friends, been joining me every day. Good morning. What is Vernix Cassiosa, and can you even pronounce it? So yeah, sometimes there's this whole new language with birth, terminology, and, and what's what. My thing is shaking in the wind here. Um, so yeah, what is it? What it is is a, a white, waxy substance that coats your baby, and it's actually a protective emollient. It's a softener for the skin, but it also protects the skin. It's like a... a uh, like a biofilm for the baby. So it has protective factors. And it also helps baby to adjust, or baby's skin to adjust to life outside the womb. And a lot of protocol is about bathing the baby after birth. And I'm here to say that that's an intervention and that that doesn't need to happen and you get to say no. Vernix is a natural protector for your baby. You will see babies that are born a little bit sooner, maybe have more coverage, more of the white waxy substance, substance the vernix. Babies that are born later rather than sooner, maybe not so much. Their skin might be a little bit drier. Point is, the vernix casosa is there for a reason. It has a purpose. And we don't need to wash it off after birth. We don't need to clean and scrub the baby. Now again, I know that there are some hospitals and providers that are practicing different protocols. They're, they're caught up with the, with the research or they, they know the importance of protecting. And I know that you, if you're pregnant and you're watching me right now, I know you want to protect your baby and give your baby the best possible start. And it starts with you being the educated consumer of the birth industry, which yes, it is an industry, 50 billion plus dollars. And we all know that there's more money to be made with cesarean section. And again, I wanna make the remark that I'm grateful for technology, I'm grateful for a cesarean surgery when it saves lives, which is its purpose, I agree. And I, but I'm here to say that there are many ways that you can avoid that and take charge. And it's for me, I believe firmly it's through knowledge. Learn what you can, know your options. Yeah, it's kind of like a whole new course a little bit in, in biology and 
you know, a little bit of chemistry and, and a lot of mystery. And as, I, as I've said before in some of my other videos, birth is intuitive. And it's important to learn a lot about this stuff cognitively through our thinking brain before we're faced with a choice that we know really very little about. So I encourage you to learn about pregnancy and birth and what comes after birth, the forgotten fourth trimester. And today's question is, what is the vernix? Vernix casosa. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I always say just vernix. But it is a white, waxy substance that protects your baby's skin. And your skin is the largest organ. So let's leave all that intact. Let's give our baby the best possible start for a healthy, well-developed life. It starts with you being informed. This is Betsy Schwartz with Birth in the Know. If you're interested and this resonates with you and you would like more information about what I do and who I am and more about birth, you can go to my website at birthinthenow.com and you can sign up for my newsletter. I got a freebie birth guide uh, you can grab over there if you like. But I want you to want to know and I also want you to question everything. Ask, find the answers, do a little bit of research, do a lot of the inside work and you will be prepared for birth and you will be standing in your power when you get to that place. I really appreciate everybody hopping on. I know everybody's busy, a lot of people doing these live videos and uh, oh yeah, you're welcome for sharing. I love to share, like I said, I have so much to say. I've been calling this Betsy's spew. <laughs> day 12 of my 14 day challenge to hop on live, ask a question of the day put it out there, share what's on my heart and mind. I'd love to hear from you. I'm available at Betsy at birthinthenow.com. You can check out more of my live videos. They're on my personal page here and on my Down the Canal and Birth in the Know pages. So if you want to see any previous videos, this resonates with you. See what else I'm up to. And please share this far and wide and be in the question. And be open to challenging all your beliefs about birth. All right, I'm going to sign off for today. There's more to be done on this beautiful Friday morning. You have a beautiful day, an awesome, beautiful weekend. And I'll be back tomorrow and Sunday. And then after that, I don't know, there may be more. I may be shifting it up. I'm not, I'm not certain yet, so keep an eye out. I figure it out as I go a lot of times. And do the same and enjoy. Bye for now.